Hello everyone, this is Anatoly Spector and this is Seneca Center for Development of Open Technology. So today we want to show you the work we did last six months, which is polling modulus, the add-on for Big Blue Button, allowing the presenter, or you can call it teacher or a moderator, to uh, create a poll, uh, ask the questions he wants, and to get some response from the viewers. So let's start. I have already opened here two browsers, two Big Blue Button clients, I would say. On the left side, we have the moderator view, and on the right side, we have the student view. So, the only thing you can find different between this client right now and the official BigBlueButton client, uh, which is in the BigBlueButton.org, is this button. So this toolbar button starts our modulus. I can see the only one option right now, create new poll. Later on you'll find out that there could be some other options available. So when I click on create new poll, I get this standard window which allows me to create a poll. So let's create a new poll. Title will be credit cards. So the question will be which credit card do you prefer? Okay. So answers, I have a hint here, start, start every answer with a new line. So that's what I'm gonna do. Say MasterCard, Visa, and I'll have two winners here to show you that this program takes care about small things. Let's make two enters here. Uh, there's two options as well, allow users to choose more than one response and enable web polling. At this point I won't check them, but I'll show you how they work in a minute. So I can click on the preview, and here I can see how my poll looks like before I save it pub or publish it. So here's the title, credit cards. Here's the question, which credit card do you prefer? Here is radio buttons. I can choose only one answer at a time. And here's if I want to make changes, click modify button. And I want to make some changes. I click on modify. I want to add one more answer. And I want to allow users to choose more than one response. And I also want to enable web polling. Okay, so I click on preview. So what do I see? Uh, here is the red line saying this poll will be available for web polling. I have also the title here, question here, but we can see check all that may apply. I don't think I provided it here, but it's somehow it knows that it should be there. I also have this four choices. Here's my here's my fourth choice. So this time there's a checkbox instead of radio buttons, and I can choose more than one response. So this is just a preview, so nothing will happen if I'll check or uncheck, but when I'll publish the poll, uh, it will make a big difference. Okay, so I have four buttons here, cancel, save, publish, and modify. I already know what modify do, probably we can take a guess at cancel, we'll just close this window. What I want to do, I want to save it. I click on save nothing happens on the viewer side and nothing happens on the moderator side. So, the question, where did the poll go? So, as I told you before, here is a surprise for you if you click on polling. Here is our poll. Why do we need it? For example, I'm a professor and I want to create my questions and my polls in advance, so I go to the room, I create questions and then I invite my students so I don't need to create them on a fly. I click on the credit cards here. So my poll is here. I can make some changes, which probably don't want to do. I click on preview. Everything looks fine and I decided okay this is time to publish it. So I click on publish. So let's look carefully what happened now. On the moderator side, I have 
this poll is available at this link. I'll talk about it in a bit. And which credit card do you prefer is my question and here is my answers. I also have did not vote. So here is the window popped up in the viewer mode which has those answers, my title, my question and for example I use I don't use Visa, I use MasterCard and Amex and I submit my vote so I click refresh here and what I see that 50% Amex, 50% MasterCard one vote was for MasterCard, one vote was for Amex but this is not all, what if I have iPad or what if I have some, some device that does not support flash but during my lecture I want to give an opportunity to everyone to walk from any device they want so then I say guys here is here is the link please for those who doesn't have flash for those who have problems to walk just come to this link straight away so I open my new browser I type this link and what I see I see the HTML page that has the same layout as the poll so now I'm voting through this interface I click submit thank you for voting I go back to my previous tab then I click refresh and what I see MasterCard two votes Amex one vote so I just voted from outside the system and my vote get counted here one more option for example I don't want people to vote anymore I think that this is enough and I and then I just say stop poll what happens all the viewers or windows will be closed automatically without any votes so then when I click stop poll I have two options repost and close what if I think that there is something wrong with this data and I want to ask question again I just click repost here's my fresh poll and now let's see how stop poll works I click on stop poll and the window is closed nobody is able to poll anymore and when I click here again I see the X X means that this poll has been already used published so I click on it and I can see my statistics of last time I published this poll so I click repost I say visa I click submit then I refresh it I got one for visa and then I say stop poll close I look at it again Adam here's my visa So this system will allow you to save your polls, to invoke them whenever you want. Moreover, it will allow you to vote from any device you want, including some that does not support Flash. And I have good news for you. If you want to try it, just go to the polling.bigbluebutton.org and you will be able to try this poll yourself. Please, if you like this video, you can share it and you can leave your comments. We'll be more than glad to contact with you, answer to any questions you have. Thank you for watching. This was Seneca Center for Development of Open Technology.